Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! That was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're leaving her? I better help Chloe with her cleaning. Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in PE, though. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. I was lucky to survive Chloe's magic phase with all my fingers intact. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. <sighs> I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter.
still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. It's so hard to believe. This room, this house, this town. All in the past now. Or soon to be. Who even am I without Chloe? She's the one who's always starting things. Pulling us into adventures. I can't imagine life without her. Maybe I haven't told her I'm leaving yet because I still can't believe it's real myself. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I think Chloe used to call this guy Mr. Sharky. I doubt she plays with it anymore. You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but that growth spurt could come any day now. We bought this as a gag years ago. I honestly can't believe Chloe still has it. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? The serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a quitter. You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw it away. Mm. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie? You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Whoa.
Talk about embarrassing. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? <laughs> that was pretty funny. When we were 10. Don't you think it's time to let the boys go? Not yet. Boy toys stay. For now. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. This was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but- How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? No, not yet. I guess I'm still recovering from the last show. Fair enough. All right, back to the junk mines. Chloe and I haven't played this game in forever, and I'm pretty sure it's missing pieces. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> That's BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, O oh, almighty glowy bear. I've tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in mind? Actually, you bet your ass I do. 
I found this when I was digging around before you got here. You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer! Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia! <laughs> <laughs> Captain Bluebeard and Long <laughs> Max Silver! You are such so, you're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, <laughs> it's treasure ye seek. See mine eyes, spot. <laughs> what a <laughs> get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it. All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so lame. <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure you seek, you've come to the right place. But be forewarned. The journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek, but be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with <laughs> pure hearts will be able to see what the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck, and... Uh, uh, <laughs> Dude, that was hilarious. We were so, so ridiculous. We still are, Max. <laughs> we still are. Okay, okay, forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook. This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? All right, time to find this map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year.
remember writing this. It's a story where you choose what happens. Wonder if I could still get to the end. Yes! Take that, Rat King. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. I try. I think this was the first class Chloe and I had together. Not sure I learned much about the stars and stripes. Bingo. Now, didn't we make some crazy puzzle? You need the telescope and the amulet. Which we hid inside a dark cavern, AKA the attic. Ugh, why did we do that to ourselves? Because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of. Was? <laughs> Your attic is still terrifying. It's been five years, Max. I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, 
We use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so into this. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh, so cool. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Is that an email from the principal at Blackwell? Chloe did act a little strange when I asked her about school earlier. The principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there.
Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Hmm. Aw, Chloe's parents are so cute. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. The entrance to the dark cavern is in there. Bluebeard's chosen hiding place for the mysterious amulet. There it is, the dark cavern. Crap, I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. Maybe this will make me tall enough to reach. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. there. I just need a few more inches. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. I just need a few more inches to reach the attic. If I stack a bunch of books on the stool, I could probably reach the attic. I think that should be tall enough. Should be stable enough. <laughs> Besides, What's adventure without a little risk?
There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest place to get to. I need to find a way through. No sharpie boob jobs. Hm. Disappointing. The amulet looks kind of cool from the side. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I can't get through with this chair here. I think I can squeeze through now. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Keep it moving. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Guess you have to go back. I need to move that desk, but the stressor is in the way. One step closer. Ugh, this desk's pretty heavy. This thing is empty.
Finally. A fitting reward for a journey full of treasures. Got you. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Nothing can stop the mighty Bluebeard. Ah, you Chloe Price. My best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Ha <laughs> I have you now, Sellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Are you just watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend, that's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here, we have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> 